I'm Ronnie Bowles with Volt Electric in San Antonio, Texas, and today I'll be installing a 120 watt LED retrofit and replacing a 400 watt metal halide. And this is the product here. Uh, what we do is we take the guts of the metal halide out of the fixture and we install the retrofit much like you do a recess can. Um, basically it's saves time, saves money, and uh, makes for a clean install. Let me show you a little bit more about the product. Okay, so this particular retrofit is from Lumax Systems. Um, it is 120 watts, and it's going to replace the 400 watt, like I said, and it comes with uh, the driver, which is pretty simple. You have uh, two wires that connect to the LED light itself and then your line voltage you have a ground and if you're hooking up 120 volts you would have a hot and a neutral but we'll be today hooking up to a 208 volt system so your 208 would go to your two your blue and brown and your green goes to your ground the LED comes with um, a mounting bracket and two L brackets and for the sake of time I've already went ahead and assembled it um, it's pretty simple though the L brackets mount to the LED with the two screws there and uh, you can adjust it for being you want it to be a little longer it can be longer it's got multiple holes you can have it higher or lower um, the base is just for aesthetics Basically, that just screws right into the lamp holder. It doesn't provide power to the light. It's just to help hold the bracket in place. Yeah, so we're going to go up in the lift and I'll show you basically how to hook it up. It's pretty easy. Yeah, so we're going to be installing this particular retrofit into a shoebox type light fixture. Uh, the shoebox is the most common type parking lot light fixture there is and of course the first thing you want to make sure is that your power supply is turned off and then as you can see here take off the front glass cover to get access to the lamp and the ballast and capacitor Now that I have the lamp and the reflector out of the way, I'm going to cut the wires going to the ballast and the capacitor and go ahead and unscrew those to get them out of the way. Um, the reason why we use a retrofit is so that you can reuse the housing of your current fixture and uh, it's generally easier than changing out the whole fixture itself. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach my mounting plate to the fixture housing and I'm going to attach this mounting plate using the threaded holes that were for the ballast and the capacitor. Once my mounting plate is attached I'll go ahead and attach the driver to the mounting plate and then I'm going to go ahead and take my already fabricated Y bracket and thread it into the old lamp holder base. And like I said before, uh, the lamp holder does not provide power to the LED, it's just used to support the Y bracket. And once I get that in, I'll go ahead and crank it down nice and tight and make all my connections. And once I get my connections made, the last thing I'm going to do is remove the protective cover. Uh, the protective cover is there to protect the LEDs and to keep from damaging them. That'll be the last thing I'm going to do.